Welcome back, everybody. We're going to let the Divine Masculine, I'm going to do a reading this time with the Divine Masculine, the journey to Divine Masculine, but I'm going to let them, him and Divine Feminine have a conversation, okay? So I'm going to show y'all. So this is Divine Feminine, okay? And this is Divine Masculine, and I'm going to let Divine Masculine start off and for him to put out what he wants to tell the Divine Feminine, okay? Right, let's get into it. Divine Masculine, what do you want to tell the Divine Feminine? What do you want to tell the Divine Feminine? Divine Masculine, what do you want to tell the Divine Feminine? What truth do you want to tell the divine feminine, divine masculine? What else do you want to tell the divine family? Masculine. Divine Masculine be doing shit, but Divine Masculine, he just a hurt little dude. Divine Masculine, like a low-key little dude that's always doing shit to get attention. You know how little kid do shit to get attention and everything? That's how Divine Masculine is, okay? Always crying out for help type of shit. You know what I mean? What else? What else, Divine Masculine? Okay. What else, Divine Master? All right. We're about to get into this energy, y'all. We're about to see what he wants to sit up here and, and tell the Divine Feminine, okay? Okay, first of all, Divine Masculine is feeling very vulnerable right now. Okay, but he's in solitude. He's feeling very vulnerable and he's in solitude, okay? Divine Masculine is having a spiritual awakening. Divine Masculine is starting to see things, okay? Because God is working on him, okay? But sometimes through this spiritual awakening, Divine Masculine feels like he can't do it. He feels like he can't do this, this this spiritual awakening that spirit wants him to go through, okay? Divine Masculine is feeling unworthy, okay? But God has given him the guidance. Okay, spirit is giving him the guidance, okay? He's having nostalgia um memories of you and he wants to come in and he wants to commit to you divine feminine or he wants to come in and tell you that he committed to someone else he wants to tell you also that 
as a child he didn't heal things and he has guilty wounds okay feels sorry uses guilt to manipulate and afraid to set boundaries divine masculine went through these type of different emotions and feelings ever since he was a young boy and he also is having issues with trust he doesn't trust okay because he's been hurt okay divine masculine continues to use toxic continues to use drugs and toxicity to escape from his problems because he feeling, the right masculine feels trapped. He feels trapped in a family situation, okay? He feels trapped and the way, and he uses drugs to escape. He hates that he has separated from you, but he knows that you separated from him due to because he continued to have outside partners. And he knew that you was not going to be put into no more third party situations and he regrets it. Divide masculine, he suppresses his feelings. He acts out, he shows out, and he goes out there and fuck out. Okay, we already know that he'll go put his eggplant in a, in a, in a salad and some coochie in a minute, okay? And it says suppression, not allowing self to think or feel things. He bottles up his emotions and he acts out, just like I said, okay? He lacks ment mentality, okay? Which says constantly focusing on what you don't have. Has random goals, think there isn't enough for everyone, fear-based, okay? Divine Masculine always in his head and he and, and he's always beating himself up, okay? But Divine Masculine is feeling very triggered. He's feeling very triggered right now, okay? Because he's having a spiritual awakening and it's something new to him that he ain't never been through, okay? Divine Masculine is feeling overloaded. He feels like bills, everything is on him. Everybody's dependent on him. And his, with this family situation, he's feeling very overloaded, okay? It feels like everything is coming at him, okay? And yet, then he what? Gets to using drugs again, okay? When he, when he going through something or feeling triggered, he gets to using drugs, okay? He does. Okay, but he knows that you are complete divine feminine. That's how Divine Masculine feels about you, okay? He says you love unconditionally. You're unselfish with no limitations, okay? That is Divine Feminine, okay? But Divine Masculine is feeling trapped, okay? He's trying to be in his comfort zone. He's trying to relax. He's trying to feel better. But yet, he feels overloaded, okay? He's trying to bring his self-confidence back. He's planning on changing due to this spiritual awakening. He's trying, but he wants to ask you for forgiveness, Divine Feminine. He's very sorry. He wants to take you out on a date and he wants to apologize to you because you are what completes him, okay? Divine Masculine knows when he's separated from you, he's separated from his abundance. Divine Masculine wants to be abundant again. Okay, and, and spirit is guiding him to be the warrior that he can be, okay? And he will be after Divine finishes with him, okay? But Divine Masking has to work through these trust issues. He does, and all he thinks about is you. He thinks about the happy times and how he fucked up fucking, cheating, doing fuck shit to you. He regrets it every day, all day. He does. But what's the best thing is he's having the spiritual awakening. Hallelujah. Okay. But he, it don't change that he's feeling triggered because it makes him have to heal what he has been through when he was a child. Spirit is starting to work on him. And that makes him feel extra triggered. Because as a child, he grew up and he felt unworthy. But spirit is trying to give him back his warrior spirit back, okay? But he has to stop doing drugs. 
but he wants forgiveness. He wants your forgiveness, divine feminine. And he wants the plan to be a better person to you. And he feels unworthy right now to come towards you to ask for forgiveness. Okay? Because he's trying to beat this addiction. This is what this is divine masculine's blanket. When he's going through something, he runs to alcohol, drugs, and sex. That that's his like pacifier to deal with it because he doesn't like to feel. Okay? He likes to do drugs and he likes to have sex because that makes him feel good about himself. That's the one thing that he knows that he's good at, okay? For what he feels. Okay? Because he feels unworthy. He doesn't love himself. Okay? And he's trying to stop his ways and different things, but he feels very triggered. He do. And Divine Masculine, he's in solitude right now. He's in solitude. He's thinking. He's working on himself. He's having a spiritual awakening. But that makes him feel vulnerable because that makes him have to work. That makes him have to work on everything that he's doing. And he has to fix what happened to him as a child. He has to be vulnerable with these different processes and stages that he's going through. But that don't change that he feels triggered. And you and he feels unworthy. And he's trying to he's trying to have the confidence to change that his thinking. Spirit is working on him. But it don't happen overnight. Okay? It takes time to work with the inside. It takes time to deal with your pain, okay? Pain don't come overnight and pain don't leave overnight. It's a process. But he's working on it, okay? But it don't make it no better that he's feeling overloaded with this family situation, okay? He does. He feels very overloaded with this situation. And some days he feels like he can't do it. Because Divine Masculine has a lot of wounding, a lot of wounds that he's dealing with, okay? But he knows when he finishes this process, he wants to come and commit to you. He loves you, Divine Feminine. Okay? So, let me get a couple of more. What else Divine Masculine wants to tell us? What else is going on? Okay. What else is going on with Divine Masculine? What else he wants to tell his divine family? Okay, so we're gonna take that and then we're gonna jump into divine feminine, what she got to say. Divine masculine is in serious regret. He's in regret every he's in regret on how he treated his divine family. He regrets every moment of it. Good spirit is working on him. And when he doesn't do the drugs he feels, and to escape on feeling how he did the Divine Feminine, he does drugs. It don't make it right, but that's that's been his cope, coping, okay? Divine Masculine was in denial that he had a problem with sexual sex and dealing with multiple partners. He was in denial for a very long time, but he's starting to see the truth, okay? And he's in regret on how he treated his Divine Feminine, okay? He wants to be able to come and be a team with you yet again, okay? He regrets being a stalemate to you and how he treated you for different, multiple different other bitches, okay? Every time he listens to music, it's a message in there for you. He 
he feels he feels you through the music that he's been listening to lately and he's ready to communicate with you he feels that once he gets balanced he's going to communicate with you it's okay so that's divine masculine let's get into divine feminine okay let me move these over here okay divine feminine what do you have to say to divine masculine What did you want to say to your divine masculine, divine feminine? What's going on? What's going on with you, divine feminine? Okay. What's going on with divine feminine? Okay. What's going on with divine feminine? Okay. What's going on with Divine Family? What's going on with you, girl? What is going on with you? Yes, we want to know what's going on with you. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's get into this energy. Hmm. So remember Divine Masculine said he was listening to music. Divine Family, she listens to music as well. So they are connecting through music, okay? They're mirroring each other. Divine Feminine, she's working on her independence. Study keeping her head up. She's learning her lessons. Remember, Divine Masculine had the same card, okay, that he's learning his lessons, okay? And she is, too. They're mirroring each other. Divine Feminine, she's starting to follow her intuition. She's starting to trust it. She's starting to lean on Divine more and more every day. And what, look, and she's a warrior as well. She's in her warrior energy as well. They are mirroring each other, okay? But she's not going to chase a divine masculine. No, she's not going to do that because she's in her empress energy. She, we, don't, we don't chase, we replace, okay? Divine Feminine is letting go any karmic partners that she's been dealing with. She's releasing any toxic energy, okay? Ignoring anybody that's on the bullshit, okay? Divine Feminine is isolating herself, just like Divine Masculine was. They're mirroring each other. This is crazy. She's on cloud nine, and she's ready for her real true love. And if that means not the Divine Masculine, it's not going to be. But she is waiting out for the Divine to bless her with a true, loyal, loyal, devoted partner, okay? But into the meantime, she's doing her mission work. She's working, moving forward, doing what the divine wants her to do, listening to her intuition, and she's on her purpose right now, okay? She's feeling very confident, being the goddess that she is, okay? She done built that independence, okay? And confidence, okay? You go, girl, yes. Okay, but she was feeling burnt out. Okay, but Divine Feminine had to realign herself as she has after kicking a karmic partner to the curb. Okay, invisible. Okay, Divine Feminine is trying to be invisible to all others, don't want to be in the mix of shit. Okay, and let's see what the card says. Feels the need to be seen, feels worthless and flawed, wanting to feel valued and always trying to prove one's worth so divine feminine is not trying to do that no more trying to be a people pleaser divine feminine was a people pleaser always trying to care about everybody else feelings but her own but she's starting to be the queen rising and she's starting to care about how she feels what her needs is and she's been independent and she's in her 
goddess energy rising every day why because she's doing what the divine wants her to do and she's working on her path okay some days she feel burnt out but she continues to listen to her intuition and to learn the lessons that divine is bringing to her okay yes she is let's get us some more cards and then we gonna close it out and she's in her warrior energy just like the divine masculine I mean, they they are mirroring each other. This is crazy, but it's good. It's good they had this conversation. Okay, okay, let's see. Wow, they really, they really mirroring each other. Divine Feminine, she's working on her inner child wounding, just like the Divine Masculine working on his inner child wounding, okay? They are really mirroring each other, okay? These are Divine counterparts. Okay, and she's being receptive to change. Okay, she's blocking all the negativity out, no longer sitting up here worried about what nobody thinks about her. She's following her inner light, glowing, looking better, feeling better, and ain't nothing stopping divine feminine. Okay, because she's starting to trust the journey, she's starting to trust divine more and more every day okay but divine feminine she had to confront some people about some secrets that was put out about her okay but she still continued to keep the light okay she don't give a damn about this negativity and people gossiping and wanting to jump shit off with her okay she can care less let me see Okay, Divine Feminine, she had to get confrontational with someone, and it probably was that karmic um, partner. Where this damn thing at? Okay, yeah, Divine Feminine, she had to kick a karmic partner and had to get a little bit confrontational with the shit, okay? She did, okay? Let's see what the card says. It says, deal with things in an ag aggressive way and hostile, argumentative, okay? So somebody tried to pop off and she had to put them in their place. And it could have been about a secret, okay? Wow, what else? Okay. But the divine is being very inspiration to her, okay? And she's receptive to the change, okay? She's in her energy. She's in her warrior energy and following her inner light. And she's trusting her intuition listening to music, working on her inner child wounding, just like the Divine Masculine. They mirroring each other, and she's learning her lessons. Everything that Divine been sitting up here trying to teach her, she's learning her lessons so she doesn't have to repeat any more cycles, karmic cycles, she is done with that. She is kicking anybody that don't believe in her life with the bullshit to the curb, okay? She's aligning herself every day, working on herself, being the better, better her every day. And how she going to be able to do that is not giving a damn about what no secrets nobody got to say. And working on her childhood wounding. That's where it all starts at. Everything that we go through life, it has to deal with what happened with us when we were children. And thank God that the Divine Masculine and her they're both working on healing, healing that, okay? Okay, that's the truth. She can't be burnt out. She's still working on her mission work. And the divine is very proud of her working on her mission work and learning her lessons, okay? And the divine masculine is learning his lessons too. And she's building her self-confidence every day, following the light. Okay, so it just shows that they mirroring each other and it shows that it just shows you how bomb God is because he communicates and everything else between the two and she's making sure no matter what she's following her intuition. So I hope that you guys love the conversation with the divine masculine and divine feminine. Okay. 
And um, we're going to do some more readings like that moving forward, okay? But I like that reading, okay? So please subscribe. That will really bless me. I love doing readings for you guys, and I like getting to the bottom of it. I ain't doing no extendings and all that. Everybody else wants y'all to pay for extendings. No, if I can give y'all as much information that I can, you know I'm going to get it out to y'all because my tribe ain't going to be sitting up here being not – not on point about doing what the sneak attack is by anybody, okay? We go work together. We all family, okay? Thank you, guys, and please subscribe. Thank you.